Hello guys and welcome back to Star Drive with the Black Box and Combined Arms mods. This is a bit of a bonus video for me because I've uh, taken the afternoon off work. It's a Friday here in the UK and I um, haven't taken it off just to play Star Drive. There's other things I want to do. But um, yeah, anyway, let's enjoy and uh, let's uh, move the game. Oh, hang on. This happened. Did this happen last time? So the Polyps and the Opterus are at war. And the Draylock and the Opterus are at war. Oh, right. Gosh. Um, do you know, I was saying, I think, that I was going to wait to see whether anybody went to war with the Opterus and then um, then have a go myself. Um, <clears throat> so that time may have come just to take these these systems here. Um, let's let the game advance. Slow it down for a moment whilst I think about this. Um... So yeah, I've had a couple of times now where people have gone to war on me reloading the game. It is like they they harbour resentments whilst I'm away from um, from my computer, and um, you know just send each other horrible messages and smack talk. And then when I return and press play, they uh, they immediately declare war. Um, so um, anyway, well, yeah, so okay, rebuilding the uh, or re. Rebuilding and refitting our second fleet, which is actually our only fleet, so really it should be our first fleet. And um, my plan was to... Oh, we've got the Corvette Defense Station. Great. My plan then was to go and take out the um, more of the remnants, because at the end of the last episode, we had, um, we had a really nice... Uh, anomaly where we actually gain some heavy drones. Um, okay, our spies are, are leveling up, which is nice. So, um, yeah, let's have a little drink of squash whilst I collect my thoughts. Um, yeah, let's put the game up, uh, to normal speed and let things let things roll forward. How many troops do we have? We've got sixty-one. So we've got we've got the troops. Um, so Opterus then at war with the Draylock Council, at war with the Polyps. Well, let's yeah, let's have a pop at them. I think uh, Slinker the Dumb has uh, successfully completed his training. Uh, Sniffy Cranky, <laughs> Sniffer Cranky. Oh, I should be Sniffy Cranky, Sniffy Cranky. Anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, what's going on here? Is this where all uh, yeah, the Mark III's yeah, they're all getting refitted? Which is why the the cost of them they're only thirty two. I think it's like a hundred and something to build them from uh, from scratch. So what are we looking at then? If we were to attack the Opterus, uh, there is a barren average here, which for some reason they haven't occupied. Maybe it's because it's like zero point four and zero point five. Maybe it's crap. Even for the Opterus. Whereas this world, um, it's just 0.12 for me, but they've already got 0.2 on there. And up here at Haronary. Yeah, so they're not, not amazing worlds, even for the Opterus by the look of it. But, um, oh, bugger. Um, but I sort of think, uh, just whilst they're at war, why don't we... What's, what's a pearl, actually? Pearl is... There's only one of these occupied. Pearl 2. So we could grab these and turn them into like little military bases just to um, spread our influence a little bit more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so let's go to the Haron Haronary system first. So we'll wait for our fleet to get there. I know it's, it's probably not all, not all refitted and no, but it, they will. It'll get there. It, you know, it will. Uh, it'll be fine. Uh, what are these guys then? Are they just not being built? These are Mark Ones. I don't want Mark Ones. Do I? No, I don't want Mark Ones. Presumably they're being refitted. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, pup mark threes. Jack Russell mark ones actually. Oh, let's just did I, did I just put a mark? Um, yeah, okay. So the first version was just Jack Russell, and then the second version was Mark One. It's all working properly. Our second fleet is quite strung out. Let's 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 actually marshal in our own territory. Um, who are the Cordesine at war with? The Dauntless. Yeah. Okay. They've got the very much the middle of the galaxy in this almost like uh, hourglass empire. But uh, yeah, these buggers are actually within my space, so I can't be allowing that. And uh, yeah, let's send the send the second fleet. Now I I suspect we're not going to find much resistance, but I'll drop I'll drop the speed down to half just to make sure. So the Draylock have captured that world from the Opterus, yeah. So it's a good time for me to be attacking, I think, if I'm going to. And of course, our little Vulfa grunts now have their ten percent bonus because uh, I've I've got an artifact. It's the first artifact I've had in all of my campaigns, I think. Um, so Harunri, do you have anything other than no? So let's go. Yeah, good. Let's go diplomacy, Opterus, and uh, declare war. Bit of a jerk move, I suppose, but we are jerks. So let's send six troops here. Um, I think that I think these guys are buggered in terms of defending these worlds. Let's go just see what's happening at uh, Rid Ridamu. Um, and uh, yeah, I, th I think we'll be able to attack pretty swiftly without too much resistance. The you know, the, the big the big downside is that um, I'm not really getting worlds that are um, are really any use to our species, but. Um, you know, I think I think I think it's worth doing. They say you shouldn't kick a man when he's down, but that's that's actually exactly when you should kick him. So the second fleet moving over. We are researching uh, frigates. Yes, yeah, quite quite the investment that that it will. I think it'll move our fleet on leaps and bounds, or it certainly would have um, before we got those heavy drones. Now with the heavy drones, it might not be as essential. Um, but it's still still a good investment for the long run. So how are our marines getting along? Still, still moving in. Marines. I keep calling them Marines. The Vulfa Grunts. And uh, the way the game works, they're probably actually better than Marines, given my bonus. This barren, rich world. Um, is it worth colonizing? I don't think so. Right, so what's going on at non Ridamu? Ooh, they've got a a warehouse here. Let's invade with another six. Yeah. If six succeed up at Horonary, it should be fine here. And um Why don't we Why don't we go have a look at Pearl as well? I'm not very interested in Forensis. 
because that's pretty close to the uh, the Cordazine. So I think if we can get Horonary, Ridemu, and uh, Pearl, I'll be pretty pretty happy with those little little acquisitions. And um, I suppose it's less about uh, me getting good worlds; it's stopping the Opterus from sort of growing near me. Tundra rich, gosh. So the Cordazine then of um, were there remnants there? They killed off the remnants, and now they're built. Yeah, so we've got to keep an eye on these guys. My old enemies. My old nemesis. So, second fleet, uh, yeah, is chugging along. Oh, well, actually, I'll put, I'll put the speed of the game up. There we go. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, alright, we, we captured that quite well. Um, quite easily, rather. Um... So let's just turn it into a military base, I think. Just like a forward forward base, almost. We're doing a lot of trade with the uh, with the Cordesine. How are things going here? Our troops are on the ground. Boots on the ground, yeah. So, um, yeah, you only get to hold what you can defend in this game. Um, Volfer Imperium captured Ridam. Yeah, good. And we'll turn this one into a military base as well. On Raiden. Did I take the quarantine off? I did not take the quarantine off. What a tit. Uh, industrial world. Yes, yes, I think we will have it as an industrial world. Uh, the Draylock Council captured a world from the Opterus. Everybody's piling on. So, Pearl 2 then. Yeah, so let's, let's send six. Six troops to grab Pearl 2, and I don't think we bother with trying to occupy Pearl 1. Um, oh, the Dauntless captured a world from the Cordazine. Baron Average. I'm just thinking. Mm, no, we won't. I, I was just wondering whether we should design this. A space station so that we could put it around the worlds we don't actually want to take just to stop the AI from grabbing them but um, we'll hold off doing that for the moment so okay so our second fleet is uh, just in orbit there I really don't think the Opterists are gonna be able to mount a decent counter-attack so why don't we move our fleet to, to Yilof if we were successful, how many worlds? Um, Baron Average, not really interested in that. That Terran, I want that Terran world. So that's one. No. Mm. Desert Average, so two worlds? Two worlds. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just thinking we should queue up some colonizers ready for for that uh yeah uh the cool Rafi captured a raleigh world i was kind of thinking it would be the other way around that the raleigh would be the ones doing the capturing but um i'm quite happy if our uh our opponents uh you know get caught in a bit of a tug of tug of war nice expensive conflict for both of them So, yeah, second fleet moving to Yaloth. Um 
and we captured Pearl 2. Lovely. Turn this into a military base as well, and uh, yeah, manage manage the defences for me. Um, if I actually wanted, if I offered the doctor his peace, would they go for it just yet? Uh, they they fear us a little bit. No, okay, they're unhappy with us, to say the least. But, um, you know, whilst they get pressed by other other species, um, they may change their mind. Um, I'm not going to devote massive resources to defending the newly acquired worlds. Whoa, what, whoa, what's going on here? Hey, hey, hey. Um... I don't want to devote my whole fleet to going to stop them. What are you? Jack Jack Russell. Yeah. Can you move and uh, just... Um, maybe we do need to build those bases then, after all. Let's... Um, yeah, let's do a little bit of star based design. So, a platform and a Vulfa heavy platform. Okay. So, do we have anything that's worth a damn putting on these things? Uh, maybe energy beams. What's, what's the range? Range is obviously a big issue when it comes to um, these types of bases. So, energy beam is 1700. Mass drivers would be 5400. Um. But I don't want to go kinetic. I want to go. I want to go lasers. Um, yeah. Now tell you what. I think it's just a crappy idea. Um, later on, I can put some, like maybe some torpedoes and stuff on there. And let's just let's just put up with it for now. If I'm really bothered, I could build like some. Um, you know, some fighters or corvettes. In fact, I don't think... Can I even build fighters right now? I don't think so. I need to research fighters. But, uh, you know, I've got, I can sort of task a corvette to deal with it. So the second fleet now is, uh, is moving in. And, um, yeah, let's bring her a bit closer. Let's send uh, troops, because um, the remnants will be engaged with our second fleet anyway. I'm going to just drop the pace down whilst we, uh, whilst we move. Whilst we move in. So, uh, okay, they're around yellow five. By the look of it. There's a lot of them. The Dauntless took another Cordazine world. Um, oh, they're actually oh, they've actually moved quite quickly. Let's move to let's move to engage them. A little marine may not survive. Oh, you may actually. I think we. I think we've managed to sufficiently distract them. Oh no! How that barrage is going to take them out? Oh well, there's always more marines. Oh, both for grunts. Jesus Christ, Ben! So I think we took out the fighters. Other than there's one remaining. Oh no, he's he's in a death spin. He's in a death spin. Don't. There we go. Hit. So, yeah, we've broken through the shields of that one. Uh, he's not long for this world. So, switch your fire now to the remaining drones. Oh, 
Ooh, we we're losing, we've lost one of our heavy drones. It's a tough fight, this one. Ooh, the remnants, click for more. We've encountered a strange group of decidedly hostile aliens. In fairness, we attacked them, so we're pretty hostile ourselves. But uh, anyway, these aliens are aggressive, unwilling, or unable to communicate, and have no regard for their personal safety. The leading theory is that these ships are the remains of a former and now fallen space empire. For this reason, we have named this race the Remnant. By destroying Remnant vessels and analysing their fragments, our scientists should be able to uncover more details. Okie koki. And the Cordazine have captured a world from the Dauntless. So they're in a nice old tussle. Which, uh, as I say, I'm very happy about that. Um, so, whoa, 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 what? After scouting the area, your troops found an altar with a working hollow chip with schematics for an unknown technology. After removing it from the altar, the tomb starts to shake and the room fills with sand, alarming um, dormant ground, and space defenders. Technology acquired, Enforcer. The Enforcer is a rapid fire weapon that requires both power and ordnance to shoot. And we gained a little bit of money. How interesting. Where was that? That was over on um, Yilof um, 4. Um, and um, yeah, more remnants in the system. Okay. Bloody hell. It's all kicking off. So you guys really need to get rid of this heavy drum before his friends arrive. His new friends. Um yeah and move to move to attack. Yeah, we've finally got his shields down, and then, yeah, when the shields are down, they don't last very long afterwards. And our, our beams are quite good, and um, we are, we're not being so sort of dicked around now that we've got our better speed, you know. We're, we're actually bringing our weapons to bear, which is nice. I, uh, I did enjoy my kinetic weapons as the humans, but the... The beams do look pretty cool. What the what the hell has been launched? Oh my gosh, what what was that? Oh, it's become quite a disjointed battle. Um, oh, we've got frigates. There we go. So let me just pause that fight. Um, what to do next? I think we need. Better guns. Let's put... Uh, what should we do? Energy beams? Ooh. Energy beams. Energy beams. Or oh, energy cannons. Ah, I just clicked out of it. I get ticked. Um, oh, beams are cool. Beams are cool. So, but before I leave the screen, let us queue up something else. I want to... I want to know a bit more about our surroundings. So I think, yeah, let's go with subspace sensors after that. It's quite expensive, but I want to sort of uh, be able to see in our own territory what, what's going on. So I think, guys, yeah, concentrate fire on this one. Get rid of him. And uh, then who else remains? There is a remnant there. Uh, so the Karathi Shogun had captured a world from the Raleigh. Uh, right, so we've taken care of the remnants here. Let's get our um, our colony ships over before before one of the bloody AIs. Oh no, we are they still are they still remnants? Um, I tell you what, group at uh, Yiloth one. These remnants don't seem to be... Are they just little fighters? Yeah, well, let's try and group up a bit first before we take them on. 
What? Oh god, I haven't looked actually yet at um, what did we get? We got like a. Uh, let's have a look at um, the frigate. So, oh yes, it's uh, much. It's quite a long and um, long design, isn't it? What did we get? We got a. Um, We've got a unique technology. Maybe we need to research it. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on. Secrets. The Enforcer. What are you? Rap oh, right, so it doesn't give us any stats yet. Highly advanced kinetic weapon. Um. Oh, should I go for it rather than beams? No, I want, I want, I want, I want beams. I want beams. Did I? I assume our little chappy got killed then. Oh yeah, he was. He was hit by those heavy drones, wasn't he? he? Didn't get to land. Whereas our other chap, gosh, really, uh, really caused some interest. Um, so I need one of these colony ships. Uh, come and uh, oh, do we do we actually colonize yet? Mm, no. Let's get a. Um, Let's get a marine on the planet first. There we go. And oh, what we were, we're already moving to engage. Well, guys, don't go in half fast. Oh, it's one of these heavy drones there, aggro things, aren't they? Maybe he was trying to, you know, use a bit of subterfuge. Hello, I'm a remnant. Uh, did seem to do a bit of. Oh, it did seem to have done some good work. Can bring a colonizer then down to Yiloth 5. Yiloth. There we go. Should be uh, taking him out. There we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're getting on with it. Ooh, our colonizer though. Perhaps he was a bit too quick. A bit too quick. Uh, there we go. So we'll wait for our grunt to um, explore the anomaly there. Good, we've taken out the uh, taken out those uh, remnants. Let's move our colonizer in a bit closer, just to speed things up a tiny bit. Shattering. As your troops get close to the pillar, it starts to shake and shatter into rubble and abnormal crystals. How interesting. Oh, is it a thought crystal? I think it is. Um, oh, I'm looking in totally the wrong place. So if I have a look... No, no, that doesn't help. Um, so let's just let things uh, play out. Well, for Grunt, you... Oh, well, anyway, look. We need to colonise this world. Whatever happens. So you colonise a go there. So now we've got your loft 5, um, and be an industrial world, 1.4, no, that's not too bad. Uh, the Draylock have taken a world from the Opterus. It's all kicking off, guys, it is all kicking off. And uh, yeah, we're about to have a look at uh, Yoiloth. Um, you move move away, and it is, it is indeed a Thought Crystal. Awesomeness. Um, so I think we can I think we can bump the speed up a bit. Put mark threes, yeah, okay, fine. Let's just have a look at that fleet. How are we doing? Okay, so we need to we need to get those built. 
so Yilath 1 was colonized. Yeah, we got so become a big center for research for me then. That would be very nice. So these worlds, barren average, up, actually apparently up to 2.7. But um, it's just got no area where we can actually build things on. Because um, it's not, you know, it's not really habitable by our species. So we'll just wait for things to advance a bit. Um, get some more ships completed and then um, I kind of think we'll have a little look at Shiro. What's that Shiro? Tundra average and a barren ultra poor. Okay so we only need one one colonizer so let's uh, let's go ahead with that and um, order order a uh, order a colonizer to be built. Oh, hey, hey, you, you, you cheeky buggers. Let's uh, send some, you bastards. When um, when playing as the Opterist, then is is that is that the style? Would would the would the human player likewise be rewarded for this kind of I'm going to grab all the barren worlds strategy? I assume there must be a reasoning to it, and it's obviously that they can use those worlds better than the other species. You know, I can see that already. Uh, so the polyps captured a world, yeah. Lazuli, so that's quite that's quite you know in Octarus uh, territory. What's their what's their home system like then? So they get a uh, desert average. Um, see, four point one people, whereas I could only have two. So they're obviously you know because of their machines, they're obviously far more um, adapt. Oh, twelve point three, whereas I could only have three. You know, they're obviously more adaptable, aren't they? Um, to the various uh, planetary, you know, climates and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's just move in a bit more. Um, and we captured this world. Uh, it's another barren world, so we'll just we'll just have a little military outpost here. Oh, it's begun! It's begun! There we go, I have my beans. There we are. So uh, we're bringing our weapons to bear. Which is making a big, big difference. Because we can obviously... Um, Obviously, outnumber the the remnants. Um, that's just glorious. No, I say glorious. We are we are losing back to. <laughs> Take him down, yeah, lovely. That's the kind of answer I like. I asked if we could take him down and the response was him exploding. That's the sort of efficiency we're trying to strive for here, guys. Should take this guy out, though he's taking pot shots at you from the car. So yeah, we've seen this many times before, where the remnants sort of try and kite us and reverse, but this time we can actually keep up and uh, keep the fire going so we can see that the shield is, is reducing progressively now. 
they're still doing damage to us, of course. But we're just able to mob that bit more effectively. And uh, you know, now that uh, now that we got the shield down, we're starting to do damage to the components inside. There goes the shield generators. Boom. He's dealt with, and um, let's have a look. Reverse engineering. After analysing more remnant wreckage, we have enough information of some of the technologies of the remnants, so use it. We will need to assign our scientists. Yes, okay, lovely. So, gain some... Uh, uh, right, so we need to get our uh, colony ship, which unfortunately is all the way over here, to go and colonise Shiro 2. Which is, uh, yeah, Tundra average, 4.5 people, then up to 7.5. Um, and the second fleet, I think, I think hang around out there, actually, because we'll, we'll have a little look at Memnor next. Um, so again, a barren world, but... Uh, You know, I wonder about how we deal with it. Do we build a defensive station? Yes, I think is the answer, but not yet. Let's have a little look through the races, and bearing in mind it's only our estimate. So we are number one for population, eight for military strength, three scientific strength, four economic strength. Um, the Raleigh apparently one for scientific strength. The Opterists, they're falling behind. Um, Kurathi, yeah. So the Cordazine then two for everything except military strength, where they are number one. The humans are number one for economic strength, and the Dauntless they're falling far behind on on everything. Okay. So I definitely need to bump up my military, and we will do so when we um, when we get these laser beams researched. So there's our colony ship coming down to Shiro. So we colonize Shiro. We then go and colonize what's what's that Memnor? Oh gosh, there's quite a lot of worlds here. Swamp average. Um Tundra Ultra Poor Baron Tundra. So yeah, there's this sort of three three or so worlds there that are worth um Worth us grabbing. There was nothing really at uh, Ragnaren. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing there. We may want to put like a listening post or something there just to keep an eye on things. But um, so yeah, we take Memnor. We've got all of these. Uh, was there anything at its store? There is something there, but it's just a gas giant. Fine. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll be pretty close, provided there's not some bloody remnant portal or something. <laughs> um, we will be fairly close to um, wanting to expand outwards into the galaxy, and that will mean going to war with another race. And I'm looking at this big yellow mass and kind of thinking it's uh, it's going to be the Quartazine. But what is what is uh, what's the Dauntless? Oh, they've got a barren world. Okay, so we've got laser beams. Next up on the research is subspace theory. Um, so yeah, this is going to be just some more sexy weapons. So um, I'll end the video here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the the content. If you, if you have, then do like and subscribe and keep the keep the comments coming. And I think um, I'll turn the next video into a design video where we design our first uh, frigate in this campaign. Okay, thanks very much.